Hello, 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 everybody. I missed you. Wow, five days without streaming was too much, I think. Oof. Good to see everyone. Hey, Lion. Yeah, we're waiting for, uh... Waiting for a little bit. Um, let's figure out all the things. All right, audio looks like it's working. Turn it down a little bit. Turn up my volume a little bit. <laughs> I just realized what song I was playing. All right, well, how's it do? Right, there's that. Hey, Night Dark. I just saw that you got a trophy. I care. I care. I think it's awesome. Hmm. Got a hot deck. <laughs> Very nice. Hmm. All right. We're going to be waiting for a little bit. <laughs> hey, Duskin. I'm pretty hyped for this. Drafting a lot, but all traditional drafts. Um, and all on my phone. <laughs> all right, we got three gigs left. Should be just a few minutes. Mm. A trophy's a trophy, Night Dark. Hmm. Hey, Dragon Jack. We're gonna do some drafting. This sets incredible. Um, the sealed makes it feel messy, but it, drafting it feels so different. Um, you have to do. You can make great decks with commons and uncommons, but you have to do a lot of the more outlandish things with rares. So like. I have a plan. I think it's amazing. I feels like an all timer. It feels like I'm still figuring things out, which I love. I love that I'm still figuring things out. It's so good. Like with one, I was enjoying it, but like by three drafts in, it's like if I want to do something really fun and interesting, I'm going to have to take a massive hit to how good my deck is. I don't feel that way in this format. I feel like anytime I figure out something new, I'll get rewarded for it. And that's great. Still messing with the audio. Just a little. I figured I could chat with people. It's been five days and that's just too long to go without seeing everyone. <coughs> just too long. Hmm. All right, let's get the MTG audio working. That should be working, but we'll check it again. <laughs> hmm. Oh, well, we can take a minute. I might be able to fix that right now. Hey, Quebec. Hey, Night Dark. Quebec, if you wanted to do some coaching, so tomorrow. Um, I'll be reaching out to everybody to see if there's a good Friday day because I know I owe a lot of people coaching. I'll do a little bit today, but I want to do a little bit of drafting on my own and then we can do some coaching if people are free tonight. Hmm. Is that a different song than before? Hey, Hatter, how you doing? We're almost there. We're just watching that little number tick up. Feel bad blocking Thalia. Yeah, that'll work. We can do it today. I just want to do one draft of my own. Because I haven't done, I haven't gotten to play a premiere draft. And I didn't realize that that's how it worked.
My internet's pretty good, so I was downloading fast enough. Hmm. It's been a long time trying to get my eye uh, transparent or not. Hmm. Try that. Almost. No, that's not going to work. All right. Hey, Ninja. I did check to make sure I was still in the thick top 100. I decayed from 24 to 94 across five days, which is pretty good. 20 ranks a day is a far cry from 100 ranks a day. You judge? Yeah. How do you judge? I was curious how judge conferences worked internationally. Like, is it by, like, is there a European Union judge conference? Oh my god, it's almost done. I want to play this set. Hmm. I've been so busy. Hey, thank you so much, Ninja. Really appreciate it. Um, this is going to be my first mom premiere draft. I've done mom traditional drafts, and then for early access, I did a lot of drafts. Um, this is going to be my first competitive mom draft. So, like, I've done, um, I, I did, uh, I've been experimenting in traditional draft. So, I tried the Convoke deck. It worked pretty well. I see. That's cool, Quebec. So this is going to be my first premiere draft of Mom. Um, at least it was different because I played the early access one was really cool. But and it was our first look at the set, but it was all streamers and pros. Hmm. Yeah, that feels unfair, but that's fine. That's what jump in is. That's how jump start is. Here we go. Well, I'm just going to take a quick second to make sure that the audio is working. <clears throat> Alright, looks like it's working just fine. I'm going to play one game of the traditional draft I was doing to warm up, and then we'll play. This is not ranked just yet. We're going to do one game. This is my traditional draft deck. Um, I'm one-on-one, -on -one, but I had customers. Uh... This was that Obosh draft. So I ended up just going full Convoke um, because you splashing black for Collective Nightmare and the Black Invasion. And I was just thinking I needed to take out a Wicked Slumber for one more creature. I do like Wicked Slumber, but I'm just on a few too many spells and I'm a little short on creatures. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I want that creature to be, though. Maybe it's just assimilate essence. Nah, I didn't quite get enough creatures. And I love running these artistic refusals. This deck's been really fun. I'm just pure tempo. Let's take out the Wicked Slumber for one Shatter the Source. All right, great. Hey, Liz. Oh, thanks for the note. I'll turn it down just a teeny bit. My music level is different from your music level, so you can always tell me if it needs to change. All right, how's that? Also, hi, Liz in Florida. How you doing? All right, so this is a traditional draft with le a leftover deck from earlier today. Um, and then we will switch over. So this is a fine hand. It's not amazing. Um, but Ral's reinforcements into Dreadship is a solid start. Uh, and I like that the Dreadship leaves a body behind for the Convoke deck. Plus, we have the Storm Sculptor and a time to draw our blue source. Hmm. I really do need the blue source, though. Blacks are splash color, so I only have a little bit, and then two land cyclers. This was an experiment. I wanted to see if I could get the Convoke deck to work with limited Convoke spells. 
Because, like, Stoke the Flames... The problem with the Convoke deck is that your key spell is Stoke the Flames, which is a card that every single deck wants. There's Obosh. Hmm. What do you have? There might just be a counter spell, but the counter spells counter creatures or battles. Well, it's just crew and crack. If they spend a removal spell on the dread ship, you're usually pretty happy because it's a 4 1 and it actually just trades with half of an elemental um, and it leaves an incubate behind. Oh! See, that's not what you're what you want to do from the opponent's point of view, because it leaves me another 2 2. Yeah, I think you're right, Quebec. I think that in sealed you gotta grind here bombs. Hey Troy, how's it going? Um, in sealed you gotta grind here bombs, and in draft you have to have a game plan. Like I think one of the big differences is being able to pick your battles, <laughs> which is just a phrase I like. Um, being able to choose which battles you have in your deck versus getting six random battles makes a huge difference in draft and sealed. Oh my god, I need a blue source. Hmm. I can't block this at all if he flips it. So I need to... Yes. The problem is that the... If you force your, you're forced to interact. So saving your removal spells for unseen threats is a problem. It's difficult and important. Grim Grin. So, ah, there's a blue source. All right, so. What we're going to do here. Right, so I can either Obosh or Dreadship. Ooh, but if I just Obosh. Then this deals double damage, and I'm fine training this for a Grim Grin. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was a bad idea. But if they're... I'm fine trading these two. Yeah, I've been really liking the Dread Ship. So, he wants to block and sack... So he just doesn't take the damage. And I just want him to eat to sack his creatures so I can have fire his dismissal. Grim Grin's so cool. I love this card. So this is an old Innistrad mythic. Um, it's one of my very first commanders. Just blue black zombies with rooftop storm and Grim Grin corpse born. Here we go. Third time's a charm to cast Joyful Storm Sculptor. I need to leave three creatures up, which means to combat. <laughs> Just these two. See what they play. Okay. I have a cast of... So this card, I've cast on my own creatures so many times. I listened to Lords of Limited today, and they're like, we were just wrong about a far dismissal. And I'm like, yeah, I know you were. This card's really good in this format. You gotta have creatures to feed to Grim Grim before Grim Grim does anything. Hey, Caro. Hey, Alu. How you doing? This is just a traditional draft game to warm up. But we will be sideboarding and playing against the same player, which means we need to pay attention to what they're playing. And it looks like they're digging a lot. So if your opponent is playing Moment of Truth, Either they're bad, which is possible. It's always possible that your opponent is bad. Um, or they are digging actively to something bomb worthy. All right. Resolve. But before you get to attack, we're going to go ahead and tap you again. The stun counters don't actually do anything because it's already permanently stunned. Tapping it, it does do something. We're just gonna try and kill them. Oh, I no, it's it's me. I may have 
I got to reconnect it because I accidentally uninstalled Arena. But I'll be able to do that current. And flip. And flip. True. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> 610 exactly with an Amphara dismissal. Yeah, I think you're right. Give me just a minute. All right. So, when your opponent is actively digging for something, that's when it's a good idea to have counter spells. Cut down on one Mauler, one Negate. Simulate Essence might just be better, but they showed me a Stoke. Like, I got to figure out what bomb they're actively digging for, because I don't think it's Grimgrin. I don't think Grimgrin is enough to run to justify a loss in time. We'll keep the negate. Negate is not a bad sideboard card. Oh, never mind. I can just click reconnect. Hang on. Hang on. All right. That should work. Um, you should be able to do it. This card has been nuts. So there's a uh, the one drop that makes two mana lets you flip this on turn three. It's just ludicrous. But we can't keep a one lander. Can I keep... A two lander with a mauler and a rouse reinforcements. I think I can, and we're gonna put back the wicked slumber and hope to get a blue source for this captive weird. This card is key to the convoke deck. Yes! Now we need something to convoke. We'll turn to rouse reinforcements because the thing about the gloomfang mauler is you gotta figure out when you need the swamp. And I don't need the swamp until turn five. All right, it should be working now for untapped. I like this card because it's the easiest one to flip. You also need to have other uses for the Thopter. Agar. Hey, that was a great draw. Because I can put down the Cryptomancer and still Stoke. It will pass. And I'm probably going to just Stoke the Agar in response to a burn spell. I'm okay taking some damage. I'm not okay letting it punch through this invasion of a Kaldheim. So, I'm just going to Cryptomancer this. And now I've got a great block on this Agar if they attack it the invasion. Hmm. Should just burn down Agar now. Keep that pressure on, because I can put this captive weird to crack for six. Almost always worth the two life. I love this format. It's so cool. Like, your cards have a little more health. That's just how it is. Not you, Cryptomancer. You can stay here. Hmm. So it's not it's not showing up the cards. Hang on, I'll fix it. I love Convoke. It feels Convoke is like to me quintessential magic because it's astoundingly complex in how it works. But if you just tell somebody how it works, it makes so much sense. And that's really cool. That's so cool. Hmm. We're always playing Pokemon now, Lou. If you want to start, just type Pokepass. I might hold this mauler now. Burn down that a little later. We're just assuming that we we want them to make us have it there. But next turn, I'll go for flipping this invasion. Because they do have to have something to crew this with. I might burn it down also. Pocus start, thank you. You got a Torchic. So you get money over time, Alu, and you can just spend it on stuff. This is a bad attack. They were supposed to just attack Tetsuko into the invasion and hold something up to crew. Alright, I was fixing untapped. Is there a good way... They untapped. General settings. All 
Alright. We're trying this again. This is just going to be a 2 4. Huh. I think I'm more interested in taking this out than anything else because it's the only good blocker they have right now. Which means. It depends on 2-0. I'd say they're as good as, as the Premier Drafters. I'm just using this as a burn spell this game to take out their one blocker. Or I can put them to four and then dig for Stoke the Flames. I'm really not going to be throwing this at them, am I? Yeah, we'll take out this Aether Wing. This might be a mistake. It depends. So it's not a mistake based on what I've seen from them because we haven't seen anything new yet. But it might be a mistake based on what they're digging for. So if they are, if I assume that they have a bomb that I haven't seen yet, because they're missing a color right now. They're a three color deck. Um. Hmm. <laughs> it did. I really liked the prelease in this one. This is a wild attack. What could you have? What are you doing with one mana that gives you lethal? Three, six. Caro, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Johnny's one of the newer members. I mean, it's possible they just did the math wrong. Oh, that was wrong in case I had a stoke. Did you just do math wrong? So I wouldn't say that the average player is better, but you're never going to run into a bad player. Oh, it's an Afar's dispersal. But you're never gonna run into a bad player at Mythic top at Mythic top thousand. And you can run into a bad player who went 2-0. But in general, that doesn't matter, right? Because if they're 2-0 in a traditional draft, there's a reason that they're 2-0. Super duper lethal on board. What do you... Oh, this is what they're digging for. Then you may choose a token you control. Then if you do, each other token becomes a copy of that token. Okay. <laughs> Tragic. So I'm taking four, five, six. So let's just put down the Mauler, five, six, seven. And then we'll have a five, two, a five, five menace next turn. Which is important when they have this many blockers. So if I swing here, they can double block, it won't kill it. They can triple block, and I'll get to kill everything. And then, or they can double block with Brutoclad, and I'm very happy to kill that. But as long as I'm taking out at least three creatures, it's very difficult for them to develop those blockers back. Next turn I have the Mauler itself and another three, three weird to dig. Question is, do I leave this island back? And I'm pretty sure I do. All right, great. Killing the Brutoclad is great. They have a three-turn clock on me. <laughs> it's funny how that works sometimes, Q back. <laughs> All right, really quick, let me get Untap working and Dang, I forgot I got this loss earlier. This deck deserves to be 3-0. But that's what I get for playing from work. <laughs> Thanks, Alu. All right, really quick. We're going to pull up a deck so that I can check on untapped. It might just be as simple as refreshing the extension now that the update is done. Um, this deck has not been working. The problem with it is that it's one turn too slow. And I win every time I untap with all of one, but 
there's so much interaction now. People are so good at killing all will be one. All right, see if untap works for that. Um, it changed a little, but not much. I just went up a scrap gorger and I use, I like invasions of target here actually. Oh, heck yeah, Hatter. What was your next donation goal? I feel bad I've not been in the sphere at all. All right, so you should, it should be working now. Untap should be, <laughs> Untap should be working now. So the deck's been working when I just aggro people out because Invasion of Ragatha as a four damage burn spell is solid. Being able to surge up an Invasion of Karsis off of an Invasion of Ergamon is really nice. The tr that Truga Cliff Charger is really cool. Um, and then Invasion of Ixalan is just good. Invasion of Ixalan into Invasion of Regatha tends to flip them both. Oh. Yeah, so the deck isn't quite there, but it's not so far off that I'm giving up on it. I'm just telling you not to build it yet. It's missing something. I don't know what that is. It might even just be coming down two copies of All Obi One for more early creatures. But I'll figure it out. Is this is um I feel it. This needs a lot of revision. Here actually let's let's make sure untapped is working. We can play one and I'll show you what I mean. Like you'll see it's so close. Like the thing is it's within one turn, right? It's in a t it's within a turn of being good. But that turn is everything. I'm not ready for this right now, Alu. I will give me I haven't forgotten though. I will do I will do something early. I'm too magic brained at the moment. <laughs> like, I still haven't finished talking about the paradox of tolerance from last time somebody redeemed this. <laughs> yeah. So the last time somebody redeemed this, we were talking about the paradox of, intol of tolerance, um, of intolerance, because in which is if you are unfamiliar with that term, um, I think I just need to land right now. Turn three invasion, turn four raptor or Miglaz plus adaptive. So we'll take the land. All right, great, Lion. Thank you. So last time we did, so we're, we'll just resume the discussion from last time, Alu. So the last time it was, um, we talked about, so Karl Popper's Paradox of Tolerance basically says that, it Paradox of Intolerance basically says that in a tolerant society where you tolerate everything, then eventually the intolerant will come forward and present intolerance as a legitimate philosoph philosophical position. Um, and use that d disingenuously to try and bring people over to them. So Invasion of Goth is really nice here because oftentimes they'll have something that I can ping and then I can shoot this for four damage. But really it's just a nice way to ping something and make your big creature. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I was really looking forward to showing off how this deck is almost about to win, but not quite, and then they conceded, which is silly because this Peacekeeper attacks into the Registrar really well. They built their deck wrong if they conceded to that. <laughs> hey, Kaiser. Well, hopefully we can get you up to speed here. Let me get some more water and we will get started on a another draft. Alu, remind me that you redeemed that a little bit later when I am less magic brain and we'll talk about it. <laughs> That's when I played it early access. All right, be right back. Uh, give me just a few seconds.
You should, Ali. You should always expect to win the Pro Tour. You will, should always expect to win every event you're in until the moment you're out. That's sick. I really like the way Zimone uh, and Dina play. So the thing about this set, everything is strong enough to work. What that means is don't pivot too much and i hate that i hate not pivoting what you want to do is look for one single pivot point so let's see if i can get a chance to show you what i mean Ooh, it's firing right away here we go <laughs> yeah your rock is really strong um it's the three Read all the rares yet. Jerry and Hazard. Alright, so this is a red white aggro top end. That's solid. Ooh, this is tough. Invasion of Kamigawa versus Zarek Strobe Knight. So I really like this card when I first pick it. I could also take the Zarek Strobe Knight and try and table the invasion of Kamigawa. Because a lot of people don't understand why this card is good yet. I don't like starting on Jerry and Hazard because it commits me to two colors right off. Strong in the red white aggro deck specifically. You really want it in the red white aggro deck, but I'm committing. I taking this Eric Strobe Knight doesn't commit me to anything yet. So I'm hoping that this puts the person on my left into red white. Ooh, a Boldor is here. Elspeth Smite, the invasion of Belanon is very good. Cut Short is also kind of great. Um, and Rouse Reinforcements is really good too in the Convoke deck. So this is sort of where I have to decide what kind of deck I want to be. Do I want to be white blue knights? Do I want to be red or white elementals i kind of do want to force the knights just because i haven't gotten to play it yet i don't know if that's the best reason though <laughs> yeah the basic land cyclers are sweet but what you don't have as much of is time and that's not to say it's a fast format it just means not committing to the board hurts both of these are very good and i'm happy to see them um invasion of belanon is just nice in general I just want the smite. No, I think it's a little too early for the smite. I might just want cut short. It's between the... I want one of these white cards. I'm going to take the invasion. I like the white-blue battles a lot. Ooh, all right. So, this is a card that is bad if you are not dedicated to making it good. But if you're dedicated to making it good, it's spectacular. Um, because it flips... It, it enables you to flip it on turn three. So you have to curve into this. The other cards in consideration are not Volt Hermit as the strongest green card. Final Flourish is the strongest black card. And Jury is the strongest red card, black and red, but still. So this card is great, but only in the black red sack deck. And I think at this stage, I want to try and force Knights and then pivot into Esper if, or Bant if one of these good card stables. Because there's a lot of good green cards in this pack too. Ooh, Geoderm or Protocol Knight. Let's commit to Knights. So taking this Protocol Knight now commits us to Knights. But there, this is a good Knights deck. Um, the Ge passing the Geoderm says I'm not going to be a battles deck. Even though I do want battles. Uh, Cryptomancer's fine. Overall, this is a pretty weak pack. I like the completed Huntmaster a lot. Don't have anything to feed it yet. Oops. Invasion of Mercadia is just pretty good. Yeah enough knights that I kind of like just committing to knights from here. Grab this Cryptomancer to keep my Strobe Knight alive. Hmm. <laughs> it is. It is Troy. The other option would be Invasion of Mercadia. This is one of the better so uh, battles. But I just want to be knights because I, I know that's not great. All right, great. Um, so what this deck wants to do is play a two drop, play a three drop, and then play a four drop battle and flip it in the same turn. So we're leaning into that tempo, and I'm really hoping to table that Kamigawa card. All right, here's a scroll shift, which is solid. 
um, and a Tattle Chair, and then this card is actively good. The Moloch is really good. If I take the Moloch, then I would be green blue, and green does appear to be very open. I'm going to take the Moloch and hedge on green. Oh my god, my opponent played a turn on Ragavan, and I almost scooped. <laughs> Ooh, this Blood Reaper Thalad is really good. I had a play set of one in my I three owned a traditional draft with four Blight Reaper Thalads. Um, this is a secret black red card. That's the best card for black red sack. Otherwise, we have the adaptation and the land, and I'll play the land either way. So I'm just gonna take the land. Um, the Moloch is strong enough that if I end up green blue with a white splash, I'm really happy to have it. And there wasn't anything in that pack that I felt bad about losing. So I'm hedging a little bit on drafting late bombs. But what I want right now are two drop, especially two drop knights, but they don't have to be two drop knights. This is just a bonus. Um, this card is good in the ramp deck specifically, but the ramp cards are much harder to get than the payoffs. So if you have to choose between a Copper Host Crusher and an Invasion of Zendikar, take the Invasion of Zendikar. Uh, invasion of Zendikar is one of the better battles. None. I don't really want any of these cards. This card is great. It's really strong to be playing. I'm going to take the blue card because I'd rather cut blue than take the better trick right now. Yeah, the Xeric Strobe Knight was my pack one pick one. I love this card. The thing about the Strobe Knight is it goes into every synergistic archetype. Hey, Lynn, how's it going? It goes into every single synergistic archetype um, because it... It's easy to double spell with Convoke. Black gets to eat the creatures. White cares about this being a knight. Um, and green blue is just kind of rampy. And you always, this card's just strong. Oh, I think this format's so good, Lynn. All right. So this card should never come back around. Um, and it's an incredibly strong signal that it is a pick 11 card. So do I want to take this War Historian or do I want to just try and be Esper? Um, black is so open. I don't really want to be Esper, but I will leave myself open to being Esper. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. This card's like not actively good. It's just fine. Take the blue card. So we know we're blue. White's a little cut, and we know it's going to be cut coming in the other direction because I passed that strong red white card on turn one. Uh, in pack one. I don't like the herd beast. Okay, we are blue white officially all the way in. Um, we are forcing it now. Elspeth is one of the few cards in this set that I consider strong enough to make that true. I'd like to get a Cryptomancer or even a Halberd back. Yeah, love Archangel Elspeth. All right, so this is a little awkward because we're so clogged on fours and we're looking for cut shorts. We need cut shorts, Elspeth smites. Um, just, and Realm Breaker's Grass, just that cheap interaction. And I'll splash this final flourish if I don't get it. Because you do need a little bit of removal. Good thing. I remember this song, Hatter. It's been a while. Challenge is a weird one in this set. Collective Nightmare is worth a splash. Anything I want more than that? This card's a knight. It's between this Collective Nightmare and this Order of the Mirror. And it's really close. I think it's got to be this Collective Nightmare because I'm going to end up splashing black if I can't get any more uh, removal. But I'd rather be just straight white blue and take this Order of the Mirror. Yeah, I mean, giving everything flying is what makes her so good. I'm a little worried about my removal in white, so I'm going to take Collective Nightmare over Order of the Mirror, but I'm not too happy about that. And Benza, this card's just nuts. She's so good. Especially because there are so many good ways to bolster at instant speed. Uh, I don't mind the Sky Warden, but that's not really the card I want. I'm pretty happy to see this Anna Fenza, and Deadly Derision's a good card. Cezanne! That card's cool. Invasion of Dominaria is fine, but this Knight is great. This is just a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three with Vigilance, which is good enough on its own, and being able to pump our 2-drops is even better. Surge of Salvation or Wrath Capuchin. Sorry, Wrath Weatherlight Stewart. He used to be Wrath Capuchin. Um, if Wrath weren't in here, I'd take Surge of Salvation. And third is the Scoured Barons. But Wrath is just so good. It makes a lot of these like Zalfrin spell castings a lot better. Um, Aerial Boost or Invasion of Dominaria. 
I do like Invasion of Dominaria. It's just tough. Uh, the problem with Invasion of Dominaria in this deck is I really want two drop creature, three drop creature, Invasion of Xerix. So I'm going to take this Aerial Boost. Molox out. I'm looking to splash my removal. So what I want is either Black Duel so that I can splash this removal or White Blue Removal. If I get enough... so. You don't have to cram every removal spell into your deck, not like one, um, you, but you do need a certain amount. So you'll have to splash if you don't get that, and if you do get that, then great, you don't have to splash. All right, shoot. Sorry, Hatter, let me get that in. Oh, that's a gift. Ooh. Ooh, giddy. All right, great. Um, this card's also great. This card's also great. So what we're seeing here, white white is used. I'd say that they're red-white. They might be red-white. One of these two players is solidly red-white, and one of these two players is solidly green-blue. Um, but nobody's in the night deck. So without without isolating our colors, we managed to isolate our our archetype. I'm gonna take the Cryptomancer because at this stage, I think I just want bodies for cards like Wrath and cards with Convoke. Um, Oracle of Tragedy is very good, but not really what we're looking for here. And I would like a Core Halberd in general. All right, I'm gonna take this Invasion of Moog. Um, I will only play this if I end up splashing green instead of black, but there's nothing else in this pack I want more. Oh. Cosmic Hunger, though. Red Sail is also playable. I'm going to take this Cosmic Hunger. In case I end up splashing green instead of white. Another Aerial Boost or a 5-drop Knight. If this were Best of 3, I would take the Tangled Skyline. But I might end up playing this Kite Sail. Uh, this card's fine. It's not great, but like a one drop is fine. A one drop that transforms is better. Uh, this is a gift of far as dispersal. It clear and we're gonna pass this red card. Hang on, sorry. Forgot I was queuing up a song for you, Hatter. I miss train. Alright, so this. Finding the open lane means you'll get past cards like Rankle and Torbrin. This card's nuts, but you can't splash it. It's only good in black red decks. So it's going to be the second Strobe Knight, but I'd love to get this Afari Dismissal back. And I like a copy of Sun of the Gateway just to clear out pesky removal spells. Um, I'm likely getting one of these two cards back. Ooh, this is what LSV killed me with. Loth Lothiel plus Archangel Elspeth. I think I just want this Alabaster Host Intercessor or Protocol Knight. Um, this is a better card, but this is a knight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why Tempo is so valuable. Just being able to push through damage. Uh, Realm Breaker's Grass. As much as I want this Sigil Sentinel, you, ne I need, you need removal. I'd really like to be able to cut black because I have not found any of the uh, spells for it. You don't need removal if you have enough ways to break through, but I don't feel like I do right now. All right, so this is 27 cards. We're not going to end up splashing green. I'd like to avoid splashing black. So right now, this is a complete deck. If I can find removal, I'll cut the black cards. And I'm looking to upgrade this Tarkir Dune Shaper and maybe find some more two drops. Just in general. Um, an invasion of Kamigawa would also be nice. I love that it slips into a knight. I'd love another Marshall's Alpha too. I used to listen to this song so much when I was in high school. Another Grasp? Ooh, that Tetsuo. Tetsuko is great. Um, this card has also been insane it's the green premiere card i love this card um, but we're taking the realm break realm breakers grasp we gotta get the room threats out like you have to have ways to deal with your opponent's bombs and whether that's going around them or going through them or just killing them 
be able to do it. Cut short. Cut short is just a good card, um, even if I am playing it defensively. All right, and I think that's enough for me to be able to cut black. Awesome. I'd love to see one of these two cards last pick. Oh, another one. But I'll take another Protocol Knight. Black is really open. We're just curving out at four. 25. The Dune Shaper. It's going to be the Dune Shaper. You like Dune Shaper in this deck. 16 lands feels correct. Uh, nothing I'm willing to cut a card for. Let's hate draft this Moloch. Oh my god, I lost to a guy. Um, the best deck I drafted to today. Card good. But not what we're looking for. Um, they might be, but I'm more scared of dealing with this Moloch than with a black deck in general. So this card, oh my god, I drafted basically a mono blue control deck. I thought I was going to win every game with it. Ooh, this is tough. I think it's Surge of Salvation over Zalfrin Shapecraft, but as far as Dispersal, it's just solid in general. I'm going to take this Surge and put back the Spellcraft. I might run this Tidal Tear. I don't need to look at the deck. Um, this is how you can tell that nobody's in the Battles deck. I love rendering it. The design is just fantastic. If it, were, if it made you in a 3-4, I'd play it every time. Like, the thing about the Shapecraft is it's best for the Incubate decks, which I just am not. Ooh, Lick a Tongue. I want to Lick a Tongue. Tetsuko. <laughs> Ooh, I like the Bond Warden, actually. Maybe I'll play a defector. I need to actually look through this. I think Assimilate Essence is my weakest card because this is not a good deck for holding up mana on my opponent's turn. <laughs> yeah, she's nuts. Um, I love, like, the seven drops. In the... the thing about this set that's kind of weird is, yeah, there's these crazy bombs, and on a lot of sets, it would be like, well, what's the point of stalling out? But in this set your bombs do turn the game around. Like, if you let your opponent recover, if I... Is that Cryptomancer? I hate cutting Cryptomancer, though. I like Cryptomancer so much. All right, here's my removal. Here's my protection. Somewhere in between. Everything else with creatures, I love that. This is a solid deck. I have any crazy combos with Tetsugo Umizawa, but just being unblockable is really nice. I like it. All right, we're going to cut down one island and one Cryptomancer. No, I think I want the Cryptomancer more than the Bond Ward. Yeah, I think this is very strong. All right, let's go. Is Untapped working now, by the way? Let's try restarting it. Can somebody tell me if untapped is working? All right, we're going to try. All right, setting up the Twitch expansion. Really? So it's sort of working. Channel? All right, hang on. One sec. I just want to set this up before this starts. Okay, refresh. And we're going to restart the overlay. Don't 
under, 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 understand. They spit on the poor man. Ooh, 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 they. They don't spit like a chunk man. Rocking about the business. I do not know the lyrics to this song. I thought I did. <laughs> All right. Refresh. Everything should be working now. Let's give it a try. Tell me if it's working or not. We'll troubleshoot it between games. Let's go. 93. All right. Is Invasion of Kaldheim the red one that draws cards? That you did it's the, the seismic assault one? It's not a free it's the it's not free. It's a hard one to build with. But the thing about the invasions and those cards is you want to be getting three cards out of it because you're you have to deal so much damage. Um I don't think it's that hard to get three cards out of it. Ooh, can I keep this on the draw? All I need is a third land and I win? I'm gonna keep this. Risky, risky business. Because pretty much everything I can draw at this point is a two mana creature and a land. So there's the wrath. It's only a little greedy. Because I don't have a lot of threes and I don't have a lot of fours. We're going to get down our own strobe knight and then disable theirs next turn. The land would be great just so I can start hitting with these protocol knights, but I don't need it. Ooh, nice. No blocks. That's a really scary start. <laughs> I see. All right. Well, that's on untapped. I can't do anything about that just yet. Hmm. Let's just disable this knight. I'm gonna make the 2 2. It's pretty greedy. But I'm not gonna have time for a long time. Next, like, I'm gonna be playing Protocol Knights for the next few turns and just bashing. Okay. Okay, it's not the real Cthulhu. I know that because I can comprehend it. All right, it's playing next adder. No blocks, I'll take this too. Oh my God, that card's nuts. All right, we're expanding big convoke spells here. Let's see if this resolves. So the thing about the convoke deck is you usually want to play your spells pre-combat, which feels bad. That's it. Just the Strobe Knight. You want to play your cards pre-combat if you think that they might just use their spells, their creatures to cast spells. But instead they played nothing, and that's weird. They pitched Furnace Range. Hello! We're going to have to kill that. But they might just be stoking me right now, which is a huge problem. Uh-oh. So Chandra's got a passive. She copies everything that she casts. And we know that she's got a spell because she didn't just minus it to shoot things for four. Oof. 
Well, she hit my two biggest threats. We are in a lot of trouble now. Looking to invade and crypto. Let's get in as Chandra with both. Oh, I'm sorry, MTG. You're a subscriber now. Carol gave you a subscription. All right. That's fine. We are just we're just gonna cryptomancer here and assume that Sean is gonna win them the game. Do what I can to knock her down. For real though, like that, that's a, they made the power level really high. Yeah, if I just invade, he's going to minus. There's nothing I can do about that though. <laughs> yeah, Swamp Bug's solid. Well, your gameplay matters here. It doesn't always. Your gameplay matters a lot in these game modes. I need them to get greedy with Chandra. I need them to also be out of spells, which I, I need them to be out of burn spells specifically. Chandra's going to wreck me, but I have a Planeswalker too, and I got to dig for her. Wow, all right. Well, I don't think that's a draw I can beat right now, but I'll do my best. <laughs> Plus two is ridiculous. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to beat this Chandra. You won't win so easy. Not without a series of very good draws. Yeah. You're toast. She's too good. Chandra's too good. All right. I just have to play cards out because the plus two, I need to draw Elspeth. <laughs> I mean, you have to assume that you can beat. No box. Damn it, I needed to not whiff once. Three, four, five, six, seven. Block. Too good a draw. Damn it. They just hit creature, burn spell, creature. And I hit land, land, land. That'll do it. A lot of bombs. You gotta be able to answer them. Minus threes, I have to block. Damn, lost fifty ranks. All right, let's go again. Hey, Mercurio, it's going good. Um, not within arm's reach, homebrewed. I can grab one for you a little later, and I have a pre-release code if you, that's something you're interested in. How you doing? Ooh. I can keep this because the far as dispersal is just that good. Good thing, homebrew. Just remind me a little bit later. <laughs> have you have you been enjoying it, Mercurio?
So most of the removal spells they can play here involve just disabling, which is great because I can have fire dismissal later, which I think I'm going to. In turn. Hmm. <laughs> it does, and they are beatable. There's only a few bombs which I think are really unfair, and they're all sweepers. <laughs> there are a lot of bombs. Hmm. But as I want both of these cards, I want a fourth land more right now. Well, it's not a fourth land, but it's still pretty good. A fourth land lets me... So the game plan now is Marshall of Zalfer plus Cyber Cryptomancer next turn. Protocol Knight or Invasion of Xerax if I can attack it down. No blocks. Card's sweet. We're going to wait until this flips, which we're expecting to take some damage this turn. It's okay. I get to hold up the Cryptomancer, bounce the Awakening token, and then attack down my invasion. Hmm. If they have their own Cryptomancer, I really want them to play it now. But if they have a removal spell, we're in trouble. It could be an aerial boost or plus one plus one pro white. We're gonna risk it. Just because any spell that they do play, I want them to play now. Ah! All right. Fair I'm over with that. Would have much rather done it this way, but that's okay. Back this down. Oh, yeah, Duskin, get you your Chikorita! All right, what is this? Sorok? Yeah, I'll catch a Sorok. Oh, Sorok is not a ball. I need Ultra Ball. Hot short? That's just mean. All right, let's change some protocols. Had a bit of removal. We, we're getting through it. Um, you type in Pokestart. Exclamation point, Pokestart. Ooh, full corruption deck. We're going to be using this Vertex Paladin to get there this game. Least toughness. This 4 4 is a little bit troublesome. But what I need to do right now is get a flyer. And I'm willing to take five, four damage to do that. You got a snivy? Awesome. Alright, so after this, I get to put down Anafenza and then just not tap out for a while. Um, they are about to start drawing way more cards than I can deal with over the course of this game. See, I'm white blue knights, they're white blue transform, which is a very different but still pretty cool deck. No blocks, but next turn I'm looking to double block. That is really cute. We're looking at double block with Cryptomancer protection. Cryptomancer having Hexproof is kind of awesome when it's going to be growing so much. <laughs> My opponent has unlimited cards, but not unlimited life. Let's see what I can do about that. Oh. I'm 
taking this four and double blocking this guy. This is a little risky, but I don't think they have a smite. They would have played it already. He's looking to get as many bodies down as possible now. Tetsuko. Tetsuko does not go well with Anafenza. I could just lock down this Cavalier and keep attacking. That's okay. They're both strong enough on their own that I'm okay with it. Defense is not attacking. Six in the air, four on the ground, three on the ground. And they made us double block, which I'm fine with. Because hitting them for nine or ten is enough right now. Is that lethal next turn? Oh, never mind. They, why would they concede that? They have... If they have zero live draws that get them out of that situation, they built their deck wrong. And in Mythic, I refuse to believe that's the case. All right. Let's see if I can replace that Tetsugo. Because I like it for taking out, um, for t taking down battles, but I've only got the two battles. I have three battles, but this is the weird one because you don't always want it. I don't think I have quite enough Convoke to make anything else worth it. I don't feel like I have any good replacements for Tetsuo. Oh, thanks, Alec. Hey, Luna! How's it going? I have a bunch of people shoutouts, but I'm going to give them all at 8.30. I kind of feel like Assimilate Essence is good enough here. I'm leaving up Cryptomancer so often anyway. Yeah, I like that. Let's make that swap. I really like Tetsuo, if, Tetsuko if you have um, more battles to attack. But I've only got the three. At 8.30, I'm going to start giving everybody shoutouts. I'm kind of great. I, I've been wanting to play this set all day. So I'm pretty, I didn't get to play... I didn't get a draft like this yesterday or today. The thing is, I don't play as well off stream. I need to be on stream talking through my plays to do well. <laughs> Saison, um, if Saison is in your deck, it needs to be the most expensive card in your deck. Like Saison is a curved topper because if you draw cards, if you have too many expensive cards, your opponent always gets to use Saison before you do. And if your opponent kills Saison, mm hmm. Is that um, Nico? Oh, damn it. His hand's really close. On the draw, what am I doing? I'm going end step Cryptomancer to block. A bar is dispersal just to bounce something. It is pure tempo. I'm just trying to imagine how this plays out in this format. And if they go Creature, Attack, Cryptomancer, Dispersal, great. But if they're just ramping out with battles, I'm going to lose. <laughs> yeah, alright. This is a great hand. Um, I know it seems crazy, but I'm putting back the land. Because I just have time to draw my lands. <laughs> Aminato? Oh. I do talk to everything in person, Alu. When I'm alone and I'm playing Magic, I will narrate my plays. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start doing shoutouts. There's no particular reason I waited until now. I just feel bad doing it before too many people arrive. Not positive I'm doing these right. I'm sure I miss people, but I will get 
would get everybody. Alright. We're just going to put down the Strobe Knight, because it gives me the option of going Realm Breaker's Grasp into Martial Zalfer next turn. And then I get to make a knight. What? Okay. It's not a triggered ability, it's a static ability. Aw, thanks, Luna. Spite! Cruel and spiteful. <laughs> they are in five cards, so any one for one, I'm happy with. I might just attack this down. I can get five damage out of this invasion. I mean, they mulligan to five, and yeah, rest in peace. But they're not out of this. Black Red can recover. That's a really good way to start. Yeah, that's fair. Good game. I love this song. Is it making my Did I forget any shout outs? I wanted to make sure I got them all. Like the thing is, you want to mulligan pretty aggressively in this format, because as long as you're doing things, you have hope. Because it's okay being on a mulligan to four or five when you're seven. I had somebody mulligan to five against me, and then they went Kami to um they went Portem's Tracker into the land that makes two mana, untapped the land, made a 2-2, two -two, um, untapped, tapped for two, untapped the land, tapped for two, Galta, and I died on turn five. Their turn four Galta killed me. I didn't die on turn five, I died on turn six, but I felt hopeless on turn five. I didn't have, all I had was burn. If you're the wrong kind of deck, it'll just work. Ooh, solid hand. We are short of land, but we have time to draw it, and we're on the draw. I don't like assimilate essence on the draw because you want to start counting their four drops a little bit more. That's actually pretty close, Quebec. I think I just want to wrath into invade. This, I think, is the best two drop. Very good overall. I'm taking three, that's fine. I'm looking to bounce it with an invasion of Xerix. All the time, Ollie. <laughs> Which one is the red uncommon? Like, that one is really good, but it's five mana. This one is four power for four mana that continues to add a bonus spread across two bodies. Just really good all around. Um, we're going to put down the Strobe Knight, and I'm looking to just invade to bounce this after it flips, because they get a free flip next turn, but at least this way they have to think about it. No attacks. It's five total. The card's really good. I'm just comparing it to the Inquisitor. Yeah, that card's so cool. Hmm. I'm gonna lock this down. Now the Marshall just makes too good a blocker here. I pull the assimilate essence. I'm gonna take three here, but I can block both of these. Hopefully get an assimilate off. Damn, I can't assimilate that. No blocks, going to 11. Bouncing, attacking, locking down, attacking. I 
I take one additional damage, but not really. Ooh. I didn't expect that to work. <laughs> yes. That card's so cool, Night Dark. What do you do? I have not seen this card. When this creature does combat damage to a player or battle, return target creature to play. <gasps> Whoa. Right. Hitting three. That card's so good. Yeah, enjoy your Norn. I'm gonna have to chump block this, aren't I? It has to be a non token creature. But if I can guarantee this, my blocks are pretty good. This is a risky play. Taking out, getting back the invasion over just locking down the reanimation creature is a risky play. Um. Can I activate this? Yes, because I cast a Saga. <laughs> Alright, less risky now. Ooh, a Dodrio. I don't know what they take here. I think they just want the 4-4. Four -four. If I were them, I'd keep the 4-4 four -four for 4. But if they take the Invasion, I'm fine with that. Although them knowing the Assimilate Essence hurts a lot. They have an instant speed 3-3 three, three blocker. Alright, whatever two creatures I block with die. I think it's still worth it. Just risky. This goes down to a 3-3 three, three, and then I have a 4-4 four, four on attack. Or I can just sack the Paladin, try and get behind the Vertex Knight. If it is a removal spell, I'll probably lose, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Let's see, if this swings, they crack for five. I need to leave this back. I'm sad about it. Next turn, I can attack with it, though. I need to play this plane so that if I draw a land, I can activate Wrath and still play the Assimilated Essence. Pass. Hey, Gromit. Uh, it's the new set. We're drafting the new set. This card is obscene. This card's so good. Hello. That one's really good, too. Um, especially because it takes my Wrath's ability. Why did I counter that? No. I did not mean to click Resolve. I meant to counter it. Cannot believe the extent to which I just threw this game. <gasps> I meant to counter it. I was trying to counter it. Oh my god. Because I was not looking at the screen. All right, so this game just got a lot harder for me to win because I'm bad at it. So let's see what I can do here. I can tap this down. <laughs> It was a pretty severe punt, I'm not going to lie. But we'll get there. That was pretty bad. Um, we'll see if it works out anyway. The extent to which that was bad is hard to overstate. And they can pump here. So this is a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, I threw the game. Ooh, oh my god. I was so ready to counter that too. I was waiting to counter that. I looked away for one second. And then I come back and I'm like, oh. Let's just click done. Ooh. Damn. The extent to which that was a throw is very difficult to overstate. Been a while. Last time I... No, I actually threw that game 
Uh, for sure. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> All right, let's throw this back. <laughs> well, I can't really throw this back, but it's pretty bad in general. <laughs> Thank you. This is what I get for trying to play magic after working instead of on days that I have off. Life of a streamer who works, it's okay. <laughs> I can't really do much about this. I need to draw a non-land card pretty badly. Looks like I'm gonna spend two... I, I can play out the Cryptomancer and Aerial Boost it, and that's not terrible. But it's not good either. Um, any rare is fine. Every deck works, so take your rare. Uh, Garuda, I think, is the best card you can open. Lutri is up there. I think I have to do this, and I'm really not happy about it. I need a body out. Like, having to spend your cards like this on a mulligan is really bad. But I have good cards I can draw. I just need to draw them. That's one of them. I could turn this Surge of Salvation into a Knight. I think it's more valuable as a protection spell. <laughs> it's been a while since I threw like that, huh? I've had like minor issues. It would be nice to draw an all land card. I did draw this Strobe Knight. <laughs> That one was just especially egregious because I knew what I wanted to do. It was just because when I clicked back to the window, I happened to click on the accept. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a bomb. I'm scared. That was a really good draw, though. Has to be on attack. So, I might be able to get them. I'm going to attack with both. No, no, I'm just going to roam Gregor's Grasp. Uh, let's see. Invasion of Fior is up there. Chandra is up there. Elspeth is up there. Elspeth is really good. Um. But pack one, pick one, the card I want to see, I think the best thing you can open is one of the companions. And one of the ones that's easy to build around. So Garuda or... Um, I don't remember the other one. Sure. No. The set is so strong and everything seems to work. I mean, even this deck, I would be in pretty good shape if I could draw a second spell or didn't throw the entire actual game. <laughs> no blocks. Second spell, though. Come on. Hey, that's first spell. And I can surge it if this isn't a counter spell. If it's an assimilate essence, that's fine. I can pay the four. I'm hoping it's just a targeted removal spell. Yay! That means I can attack for three. So I was really hoping to have an excuse to use the second spell so that I can make my knight this turn. I've got three in the air. Ooh, Rager's are really good for them. Just turning all these saplings into fresh cards. Really strong. I've got the Marshal. I can start using that. Looking to just tap both of these down. Sure. Hmm. 
Craft is so good. We can just tap the Rage Round end step, untap, tap the Doombringer. Then get some big attacks in. Alright, four, five, six, seven, eight lands. So I've I've drawn half my lands. So I only have eight lands left in the deck that I can draw out of 26 cards. And I've drawn a full two, three, four, five, six non-land cards. I'll stop drawing lands eventually. No, I'm so sorry. Are you playing Black for Life? Hmm. I've got three, four, five, six damage on board. They're digging hard. I think it's a mistake. Tap your 5-5. Five, five. That's so good. It's a little absurd. I'm fine with you attacking this for three. They can eat the sapling if they want. I don't think they want to. I think they want the blocker. Hey, that was a good draw. I might just let them have this to attack them. All right, if I tap here, they'll block here. I get in for one, and then I've got a 3-3 three, three in the air. <laughs> I'm going to put it on the strobe knight, try and get the kill in three turns. Keep tapping down there, 5-5. Five, five. I don't want this to be able to flip yet. I've got mostly gas, and we're what, four games in? Four games in, I need that Elspeth. Oh, how does everybody have this? Oh my god, all right. Someone had to save the day. Well, they get to kill my two biggest threats, or my biggest threat, and flip this invasion. Um, I get to tap down the Rager. Um, I have gotten all of my lands in five different Kamigawa games that I've won. I've tried all 16 lands five times and still won those games. This is ridiculous, though. Like, I've lost to Chandra more than I've drawn in five games more than I've drawn Elspeth. All right, so that's only, we're eight, nine lands, 10 lands deep. Ooh, the luck is not on my side today. Like my opponent just got to each, draw three cards off this Rager because I have drawn only lands. <laughs> you guys are mean. Why are you also mean to me? Why is everyone so mean? Dodge is so mean. <laughs> it's okay. It's just how magic is. That felt so strong. I'm just not the right pilot for it. I don't think I can give up this body right now. I think I win this game by top decking Elspeth to kill the Chandra, and it what doesn't die to anything else. <laughs> I don't think that's true, Luna. I think it just looks a little different. Don't think I don't know. <laughs> I found out that I spend, I've spent so little money compared to other streamers, and I didn't know that. I just learned that. I thought also, I thought other streamers were also all four. All right, Elspeth, one time. Damn it, why aren't you Elspeth one time? Nope. I just wanted to play with Elspeth one time! Uh, minus four, kill my blockers. Attack me. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Um, 
Let's see if they see it. Because they need a removal spell to kill me. It is. <laughs> oh my god, I'm still stuck on the throw from last game. <laughs> I moved my window and I normally click right here to pull my window back into frame, but I click down here. Someday I'll have two monitors though. That'll be awesome. Why would I want you to do that out? <laughs> no, this isn't happening. This is the end. Let's go out with a bang. No blocks. My opponent in the last game was like, why didn't he counter my bot? I don't concede. I do concede, but not when I'm going to die that turn. That's boring. All right, so this game, this draft went three and two because I'm bad. So let's try this again. Ooh, I'll, I want a Dreepy. I want a... Alright, we're going to try this again. And I'm going to lose less. And then Quebec, if you're still awake, we can do your coaching session. Otherwise, it'll be, we, I, I will be streaming this weekend a lot. We can find time then. I gotta redeem myself. Well, if you're still up after this after this draft, we'll do some coaching. <laughs> Where's their squirrel? It is a great strategy, dog. Yeah, so the thing is, since your average deck quality is so high, like, I, you don't abandon things as quickly as usual. Hey, uh, Homebrew, if you have, um... Did you, do you want a pre-release code or an older code? Well, I'd love a pack one, Garuda. Oh, I do like Drana and Lunvala, but I think it's going to come down to Invasion of Lorwyn. Anything I want more than those cards. I like Drana and Lunvala a lot. I just don't like committing to white black from pack one, pick one. Turning off the transformations is nice, though. But I think if I take Invasion of Lorwyn, I will table a good green card. These are both really strong green commons, and these are both really strong black common or black removal spells. Um, I think I just want the Invasion of Lorwyn. It's where the first pick because it's easy to splash. So I don't necessarily have... This doesn't commit me to black green. It commits me to black or green. I like the Kenro a lot. I don't like... It's really hard to just force an aggro deck. Between these two, it's close. I do like the Spell Sphere. But you have to put so much work into having prowess triggers for it. I'm going to take the Invasion of Lorwyn. This is like all your cards are so good. I like to take the card that leaves me a little bit more flexible. And Spell Spear commits me hard to being. Ah, oh, can I make this work at all? Cat, Elemental, Dinosaur, Nightmare, or Beast? I don't think that's feasible. If it did like Pest, I'd be pretty happy. Cross Prowess is so dope, but it's five mana. We're going to take the Doomscar Warrior. Card's really good. I'd love Storm the Seed Core or Overgrown Pest to table. Um, I'm not expecting them to. Army of Whispered Hopes, I think, is absolutely worth the third pick. Cut Short is great. Um, Invasion of New Capenna is a build around. So it's very good, but you need to have a lot of extra bodies. We're just going to take the Kami. Yeah. I, I, I'm considering Cut Short, but I think this card is so powerful. 
So the, that's what I'm talking about when, like, we're not drafting colors, we're drafting decks. Drana Linvala does not lend itself to Invasion of Nuka Penna. Like, taking a Drana and Linvala pack one doesn't mean you should take Invasion of Nuka Penna pack two, because there's no synergy. If you try play Drana and Linvala turn four and then Invasion turn five, well, Drana and Linvala doesn't kill Invasion. And if you play Drana and Linvala turn four, without having multiple bodies in the preceding turns is going to be really awkward because with Invasion of New Capenna, your two drop is what would let you give you a body to sacrifice. I really like this Mutagen Connoisseur and this War Historian. I'd love to try and get Omnath to work, but the thing is Omnath isn't worth the payoff. He doesn't do anything when he comes in. It's between Invasion of Moog, which I do like, or War Historian, which I think is the pick here. Um, if I were a little bit, if I had a little bit more invested in white, I'd be interested in it. I like Mutagen Connoisseur a lot, though. And, like, I just splash Invasion Lauren. Let's go with the Connoisseur. I haven't gotten to play with this card yet. Incubate, anyway. Yeah. It looks like it should work on paper, but it's just such an awkward curve. There's another invasion. This is a pretty weak pack. I think Rouse Reinforcements and Fred. So these three cards are all good in the same kinds of decks. But I think I just want the Jungle Hollow to make sure that I can always cast Invasion of Lauren without having to run Skittering Surveyors. Anything else I like out of this pack? I'm tempted by Invasion of Nuka Penna here. And I actually like the Javelin here too. But I don't have a signal from this pack, so I'm going to take the Jungle Hall, because I know I want to play green, and I know I want to play Invasion of Lorwyn. Historian. Uh, wow, this pack to me show, really showcases how well designed this set is, because all of these cards are playable, but only in specific decks. I'm going to take the green card. Drana and Linvala, Drana and Linvala, Drana and Linvala, Drana and Linvala, Drana and Linvala. Yeah, Drana and Linvala is a great card. Invasion of Nuka is a great card. But there's no way to make that curve work. Because, like, there's no two drops that you want to sacrifice to do invasion turn. F it's just really fascinating. Because <laughs> three power on your flyer isn't enough to kill the invasion. It's so hard to get a body out beforehand. Um, there might be rares. I, I don't know all the rares yet on purpose. I like learning the rares this way. Red cards galore. Wow. We're going to pivot because um, we're green and I'm happy splashing this invasion of Lorwyn. Um, Quenda is fine. Like Quenda is a knight, uh, is, a, is a knight card. You have to be knights for it to be any good. Um, but the Frontliner and the Fearless Call, both very strong cards. I like the Fearless Call here. It's a little bit awkward in general in this deck. But it makes attacks so, feel so good. Um, I actually really like Invasion of Aldrain. I've been loving the way Mind Rot feels. Uh, War Historian. Shauna's pretty good, but you gotta build around her, and I don't think I'm prepared to build around her. It's between Invasion and War Historian. I do gotta have the land to win, but I already picked a land. See, look. If I didn't have a jungle hollow grommet, I would definitely consider the forest. Um, I think Invasion of Aldrain's worth a pick. I think Mind Rot, like... This card, um, not a lot of cards have gone up for me. This card has gone up for me. So it's a Rachnoid adaptation. Actually, this card I was pretty high on to begin with. A Skittering Surveyor is tempting here. So this card is only good in the Convoke deck where it's really good, but you don't want it in any other decks. It's between our Adaptation and Javelinier, and I think I'm more interested in cutting red than anything else, or in cutting green than anything else right now. Storm the Seed Core. I love this card. Right, I'm looking for two efficient two drop creatures now. That's what I'm missing on this curve. I always have to read this card again, and I'm like, oh, wait, it's bad. Uh, this card I don't think is bad. You need four and five mana backup creatures for this card to be good, but it's not terribly hard to get that running. I'm going to take the Carapace because it's green, and I want to cut green, not because it's good. And I want to make sure... I'm going to try and get my per person, the person on my left to be blue. See if I regret that. 
I'm really excited about it, Beard. I'm loving it. Like, the, I'm still finding out new things. I've read all the commons and uncommons. I evaluated everything. I've done, I don't know, I did, what, 20 drafts in the first couple days, and then I've done five traditional drafts and a few IRL drafts, and I'm still figuring things out, and that's cool. That never happens. I'm really excited to write my 100 Trophies article on Monday. This card is insane. Just so much power for one card. What else have we got? Um, oh my god, I was so mad. I made some. I mind rotted somebody twice in sealed, and they discarded their hand. <laughs> and then they drew back to back glistening dons, and suddenly had thirty two power in play. Anything comparable? What do I want back out of this pack? I might run this Unsealed in Acropolis. Um, Portent Tracker is the card I really want. Uh, but this card's great. You want the Glistening Dawn. It's like uh, the Green Invoke in the last set. Ooh, this is an interesting pack. Uh, this card is really nice in the Black-White deck. I might just be on more Black Removal. I, I think Invasion of Kaldheim is really strong in the right deck. The question is, is my curve low enough for it? Hmm. Like, this is a really late game card, but it's very strong in the late game. I think at this point, I actually want Wary Thespian. Which is wild to me, but that card is really overperformed. You just need bodies early on. It feels so weird to take this Wary Thespian, but I do think it's the pick for me. Two drops are just... Surveil is relevant, and the two drops tra trading up is really nice. This card is good. Uh, Chomping Kabu is also great in this deck. And so is the Familiar. We're not blue. Oh, this is pick three. Pick three run isn't quite enough to abandon what I'm doing. Deluge would be nice if I weren't black green specifically. As familiar is strong. All right, we're a bit grindy. I've got good fours. I think it's etched familiar here. I'm just trying to figure out if I can make invasion of Moog work. I'm going to take the Kabu over etched familiar because I do want the familiar, but I think it'll table. Cut short preening champion. This is a late preening champion. Although I don't think people are as high on this card as I am. And I like traumatic revelation a lot. Chomp chomp. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, I, I like I like the Thespian a lot. It's come way up for me because it grows well. Linger two and three drops that attack well. Which might just be the traumatic revelation here. I like that card. War Historian. Very nice. Good white cards in here. Blue-green invasion. It's possible I was supposed to move into blue, and I just missed that opportunity. Um, if War Historian weren't in there, I'd take that Shatter the Source. But I think I'm just looking to curve out. I'm not that interested in my red cards. Like, I'll play them if I get a reason to be red, but I don't have one right now. Uh, this Glistening Dawn is an As Late As I Can card. Hey, ooh, but a mutagen connoisseur. I just love mutagen connoisseur. But I think I'd rather have the instructor. It's a great blocker. And it's got late game applications. And I want more Kami of Whispered Hopes. If I get another Kami, I'm willing to run these red cards a little bit more. Second invasion of Eldraine. First plated Rotten Dale. That's a late enough cut short that I'm considering it. I think I just want this Rotten Tail. There's good blue cards in this pack still, though. Nah, let's play the Invasion of Drain deck. 
let's make our opponent play their threats out early and then deal with their late game threats with prickle fairies racer still a lot of white cards in this pack i did see somebody successfully use urn of godfires with um em two emery's double emery lurker of the lock urn of godfire was solid i do like the racer but i want one drops to go with it you want me to take yargle i can take yargle i'm gonna take unsealed and acropolis i think that's what i want in this deck flywheel racer really late temporal cleansing this is a really late temporal cleansing. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna revisit blue. Take this temporal cleansing. Like right now, I'm committed to black and green. I'm still looking for a third color, and it might be blue. It's a little bit too much in terms of fours and fives. So I'm just looking for good early bash creatures. Vanquish the weak or mauler. Throne is fine. I think I just want the mauler here. If so, I, if I had a, if we are a lot of good ways to help me break through with them, I'd be pretty interested. Is between mauler and Icar drinker. I'm gonna take the Icar drinker because I do want the mauler, but I don't want too many maulers. I'll take the wingspan in case I end up blue. None. I have cards I could open that would make me want Swiftwater Cliffs. Uh, we'll take the Archivist to be nice. Wait, what's here? What, what, what are we catching? Ampharos, holy crap. Can I run this, Teamer? This is the card I was picking up when I'm like, there's. I can see myself wanting Swiftwater Cliffs. <laughs> How greedy is this? I'm already green. I've got a Swiftwater Cliffs and Tommy of Whispered Hopes, and that's it. I think that's just too greedy for me. I don't think I have anything with Goreclaw, but Goreclaw is just good. Mm -hmm. I would need like a Blighted Burgeoning or two. We're going to take Goreclaw. Sad about it. Two drop. This is a really good two drop. Uh, that's pretty much it. Renat is great, but like my four slot is already so clogged. I need twos and threes right now. Garuda? Oh my god, we're doing it. We're doing it. Whatever else is correct, this is what we're doing. Taking the Intercessor because it's got an even cost. Or Traumatic Revelation? I think Traumatic Revelation is better. I need white with splashing. I think this is the Wombo that I want. I'll, I'll get another traumatic revelation. Sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm so bad. I can't help myself. Don't be like me. Don't do it. You'll lose if you are like me. Yes, this deck is perfect. This is a bad pack. All right. Uh, <laughs> Do I really have no playables out of here? <laughs> I have to. I have to play it. All right. I put blue in. Do I have enough playables? Really, only Kami Whispered Hope is what I'm losing. Shatter the source, flywheel racer. I think flywheel racer just got a lot better.
Oh my god. Oh man! Immediately, every single card in this pack is odd. Alright, I might not be able to do it, but I'm gonna pretend like I can for now. I cannot believe I got a pack with all odd mana costs. Every single one. Every single card in that pack had an odd CMC. And Blighted Burgeoning just came back. Wow, still though. Still all odd costs. All right, I can't do it. Damn it. I was so excited. Might have to be Vanquish of the Week. No, it's going to be the Blighted Burgeoning. Just need the fixing right now. Oh my god, I'm so sad. I was really excited about that. A uh, Bladed Battle Fan is fine here. Bending Earth is fine. We're going to play the... We can't even. I know. All right. The deck's really good. Whatever. What's the point? Tragic. We have a tragically good deck. Ah, uh, I'm so sad about that. I can't change my eyes. I don't know why they're not working. There we go. Ruin is just good. It's a six mana six six that reanimates a creature. That's really good. Um, so like a lot of the companions are not worth it because they're not a, an impactful enough card to be worth your deck building restrictions. Yorian and Garuda are exceptions, although Yorian is really tough. Like Yorian is a card that you can only make your companion if you draft perfectly. If that's no, I don't draft perfectly. No, I mean obviously, but nobody drafts perfectly. All right, we're putting our odd cards cards back in. I was so excited. I really wanted to play that, but we have one mana spells now that we can play. Good ones. I'm just sad. We're going out for Garuda. Right, where are we? So this is 40 cards. Don't have to run any other colors with this deck. Uh, Ragnarok Adaptation is solid. Yeah. Um, the thing I think a lot of people forget about Companions is, yes, they broke the game in a half. The whole game. But as regular Companions that you could just cast, not, not cards that... Um, you had to pay the three for, but when you could just cast a companion from the command zone, it was awesome. It was so much fun for a draft format because, like, I think that these would be better served at, under the old companion rules for this draft format. I think it would be a much. I think it would be just strong in general. All right, battles. Pump. Uh, this is more of a six drop than a four drop. Mana. I don't think we need the racer if I don't have any. Um... Yeah, we don't need the racer if I'm not running the third color. Which means I need a removal spell. Do I have access to any removal, even bad removal? No, but with the amount of removal I have, I do need this traumatic revelation. I should have taken that vanquish the week. I passed the vanquish the week because it was an odd cost spell. But we'll be okay, because we can dig. Yorian needs a large card pool to be good. I'll take a look, Troy. Thank you. Yeah, so Yorian um, in modern. So if we look at, like, let's say you want to build a Yorian deck with burn. Well, in modern, you need, you have 20, you have 20 extra cards worth of lightning bolts. So any given thing you want to do in modern, just having a larger card pool gives you access to more. Yorian will eventually be banned in Pioneer when you can make an 80 card deck that is exactly as consistent as a 60 card deck. But he's fine for now. So this is a solid, not that special deck. Missing a little bit of removal. So if I splash blue, I can put in Temporal Cleansing. If I splash white, I can put in the Alabaster Host Intercessor. But I don't really want to do that. We're just going to go. Mm -hmm.
No, you're wrong, Temno. Um, there was an issue a few years ago, well, a few years ago, a decade ago, where there was a major drug bust for millions of dollars, and they get the suitcase out that they use to buy the cards, and the, the suitcase wasn't full of cash. The suitcase was full of black lotuses, and that is because $100 bills and have serial numbers on them. And black lotuses do not. But black lotuses are liquid cash-wise. Right. Yorian is just good enough in a draft deck. Same with Garuda. Garuda is just good enough to be in your draft deck. This is a solid hand. We're just looking to wary Thespian to dig for that fourth land and then chain these invasions of Eldraine. However, that's not the case for every card. Just some of them. <laughs> I did not know that. That is news to me. Your veil. We're going to get rid of the adaptation because we already have one. This might be telegraphing that we already have one, but hopefully you just think we're digging for a land or a three drop. If this dies, then I get a three drop. Um, I'm fine just trading cards off to get these invasions of Eldraine. The thing about an invasion of Eldraine is when you play, like, so this card is Mind Rot on the front for an extra mana. That's pretty bad. But the flip side is strong. It's a good finisher. So, like, compared to the a lot of the other sagas, you're fine with it just sitting out for a while. I don't think I'll block with the Thespian. I think I'll block with one of these smaller creatures. Oh, or not at all. That's okay, too. Um, that's defense, Temno. So when you play a battle, your opponent protects it, and then you can attack it down, and when you get it down to zero defense, it flips. It's a new card type. Oh, God. This is a real bomb. Uh, well, their whole team flies. And this game just got incredibly difficult for me to win. Someone wrote something that I cannot read um, due to my chat scroll. There we go. That's true. I think we just have to mind rot now and hope for the best. Taking three, six, eight. So I have, a th I have three turns to answer this. Which means next turn I attack. Arcane ad Ar Arachnoid Adaptation here. That was a hell of a draw. Wow, what a draw. All right. Did they do a cantrip? 3-3. Three, three. You guys, when did I get so bad at magic? A second green source and I'd be fine here because I can Kami and then attack. But I need to just hold this back to block here. Kami it is. I can go off with the Kami next turn to Invasion of Lorwyn. So it makes mana equal to its power. So I can tap it for mana, untap it, tap it for three mana. It turns arcane, Arcanoid Adaptation into Dark Ritual. I'm not totally out, but I'm going to have to work my way through a lot of flyers. Really only... Oh, God. What? Why is it that suddenly everyone in the world draws exactly what they need against me? <laughs> A true tragedy. All right. Hmm. All right. I'm at one life. Four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve in the air. Block. I can gain three life and block. I can kill the power and kill the Zapper Singer at one blocker and gain three life with me to four. I'll take four. That doesn't do it.
All right. Green. Arachnoid adaptation. Still short of green. Just doing what I can. Fifth land, I'd have been fine. A third land on time, and I'd have been fine. All right, they got me. Yeah, the card gave their whole team flying, and they played it on turn three off of a perfect curve. So I would have been okay hitting my land drops on time. Um, yeah, and then I made them discard their hand, and then they top decked removal spell, creature, seed core. <laughs> Yeah, so I still maintain that the best deck, the best aggro deck in modern is Battle of Wit. <laughs> it's just nobody ever wants to play it. <laughs> hey, BioSpark. Thank you so much for the follow. How you doing today? Yeah, the best modern aggro deck is 250 cards. And the reason that people don't play it is because no one wants to shuffle a 250 card deck. And it's also literally the most expensive deck in modern. <laughs> Oh, I like that waving shark. I th I would have been okay with that hand if I had not mulliganed to six um, or hit my fourth land drop. So Battle of Wits is a card that... Ooh. This is close. I'm going to try this. I might just not take anything with the Traumatic Revelation because I have the invasions. They have to have a pretty good blocker. But what this hand wants to do is... Turn two, Traumatic Revelation. Turn three, flip it. Turn four, grow it and attack. Turn five, invasion. Turn six, invasion. So Battle of Wits is, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have 200 or more cards in your library, you win the game. Um, so, you just play 250, 200 aggro cards. Oh, we're just going to take the Prankster. That's very mean and very effective. Hey, I should let the Prankster live, but I don't want them to have any creatures. I just wanted to get these invasions of Eldraine down. We're just going to mind route them twice. They get a treasure next turn. Yeah, we got the removal spell. We're going to take some damage. They're going to have some mana. That's okay. First creature I draw is really valuable. That's worth it. Uh, we want to do this right and go green, green, black. All right, and then we pass, and we get to flip this. And they don't get to kill with any sorcery speed removal. Holy crap, all right. <laughs> uh -huh. Vigilance and haste then. Um, So you just play a normal aggro deck, and then also hope to draw one card. I did not hit one. I just have to kill this? 
Vigilance and haste, and it triggers on attack. Alright, we're just looking for a land here, but I'm also pretty happy flipping this. So I'll still die, but I get to try and hit a permanent, which is very likely. Yeah, I can't. Oh my god, it's one of like four cards I can miss on. It's okay though, I get to attack down the invasion again. And if they leave a card in hand, I get to make them discard their hand. Like, we have run them out of resources. Hmm. This is a cut short. And I want to play this now. Neat. They didn't have a second card to discard. Let's see, the Wayfinder lets me block. The Vat Keeper is just a lot of power. I think I am going to Arachnoid Adaptation just to... Um, just to not let this through again. Because I am a little scared for my life total. I'm still taking a 2 for 1. I get to hold up a removal spell and I have a lot more power coming. Snap this off. Even if they top deck the removal spell, okay. Yeah, Dark and Darker is also, I think tonight's the last night of it, homebrew. Um, but yeah, it is a little sketchy. Three and two. Let's go ahead and grab my other throw. The Doomscar Warrior is really good. Like this is a constructive playable card. What do I lose to? Stoke, Stoke. One, two, three for the Vat Keeper. One, two for the Thespian. Gain a life. Also, a Sweeper. I don't think they're running a Sweeper, but if it is a Sweeper, I don't want to get blown out. So I'll, I do have the Invasion of Lorwyn still. I'm just going to put down the Vat Keeper and pass. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is a 4-4. Four, four. No, I'm the Thespian, because I can flip this next turn. You're not helpful at this stage. Yeah, so Lion, it's a, it's a normal deck that can occasionally just draw Battle of Wits. It just There's enough cards, there's enough redundancy in Modern to go for it. Surprised they didn't take the Treasure. All right, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I've got lethal next turn. I'll let you. You go to two. Oops. I was trying to. Never mind. It's fine. It was a misclick, but not a bad one. So now, even if they wipe the board this turn, I can flip this on end step. Okay. We got there. All right, I got to refill my water, and we'll keep going. Um, I think I'm one on one. Let's throw that prediction up. Yeah. All right. Uh, how many wins will I get this draft? I advise you. I mean, you can choose one if you want. <laughs> Be right back. Uh, you're right, Liz. I forgot that I didn't have summoning sickness. I'll be right back. Sometimes I put too many things in reserve.
Okay, I'm back. All right. I'm revving up a little. I feel my brain speeding up, which usually doesn't happen after work. Usually I just slow down. I can't wait to play this. Like, can't wait to have a dedicated day to just rank up in this format. And, man, having a day without work just to play Magic, the dream. Solid hand, not amazing, but like, we are doing things every turn. We have a solid curve. We are guaranteed to play as Doomscar Warrior. I really like Anchor Drinker on turn one out of these decks because it can play offense and defense pretty well. I like Anchor Drinker. Like, it's never amazing, but it does its job. This is a good draw. I'd rather play this now than the Traumatic Revelation. Those are the cards I want to take with Traumatic Revelation. Cost four and five mana. I usually take it anyway, but just... Nice not having to. Do they swing knowing I can double block? I probably won't block. Core Claw! Ooh, reducing the cost of the Doomscar Warrior, Warrior is really tempting. So instead of playing what I was going to play, we're going to Blight Versioning. That gives me five mana next turn. No, that doesn't help, actually. We're going to put down the War Historian. And then a land lets me Blighted Versioning and Traumatic Revelation. I might double block. We'll see what they do. It's a Blowout. A removal spell after they flip this is a blowout. They have to flip this for it to be a relevant attacker. Nice! They got a 2-2 two -two and made a 4-4. Four -four. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Ooh. I have other ways to get value, and I'm fine trading my Herbology Instructor here. I'm not fine trading my... I'd rather trade the War Historian here than the Herbology Instructor. Let's see what you got. Hmm. I'm gonna take this Intercessor. I don't wanna deal with that later. I got good creatures coming. They're at five mana. This flips and kills one of their relevant creatures. If they flip this this turn, I'll chump. I love that line. You like Shibari. Watch while I show you the ropes. Let's flip ya. Yeah. Rank. Uh, let's see. I attack here. They crack back for five. Just four. Three for four. I'm fine with that. I want them to attack because I want them to be tapped out when this Doomscar Warrior hits. And I'm okay with them flipping this Anthem. They can't do both. They can't flip this and play the Anthem. Need a green source. Dang, I can't play the warrior and the gore claw. <laughs> All right, let's draw some cards. Let's see, a fourth lets me play a Goreclaw and a Storm the Seed Core next turn. Akamo O, that's that dragon. I 
dragon. Thank you, bait. Now I'll flip the block if I have to. I just don't want to have to. I'm going to go for lethal. I'm going to try and kill them this turn. Alright. Four. Four. So I can attack for 12. And they've got five toughness with which to block. I want to grow here too. does make it a little harder for me to kill them. We got five in the air next turn. But they're tapped out with three blockers. So if everything has trample. Alright, if everything has trample, that's three, six, so four, eight, ten, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. Do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 16 exactly. All right, great. Math OP. We got to make sure everything tramples. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let me just double check this. They're tapped out. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 16, 5, 11, 16. You'll figure it out. Don't worry. They'll figure it out. <laughs> Aw, but if they blocked with everything, you would have gotten to see my perfect math. Yeah, and I got the Hakamo'o. It used to be that you would all choose seven wins. I'm going to make you all lose your points. Gonna win us. going to win out here. I'm going to lose all your points. That's right. I just played badly on purpose to lull you to a bad bet. Hmm. <laughs> You did, Night Dark. You got this. I get you at least four wins. I think I need to go six. I need six wins or better to actually rank up here. Ooh, I see hot. Oh, thanks, Emno. I shall. I can keep this. Dark to do is a long way. I did. This card's really good. Go with this one, though. We got this. I can flip this on turn four, which I might, because this thing gets scary on turn five. Because I can play out my whole hand, but still, it's better to kill it while I can. Excuse me. I need too much water. Rona, you traitor. Listening Don with Kami is good. Yeah. I think they just want to flip this card. Looks like they dedicated blue black. It's gonna be a good invasion of Eldraine. All right, black. I can make up to four black mana. How did they get five cards? 
Could have sworn they just had less. This is just about to flip. Hmm. I just need to dig for a removal spell of my own. I should get the invasion down. I really don't want this to flip. <laughs> Can't really race it right now. That strobe knight in a swamp. Damn, it's flipping. Or not. I'm fairly surprised they didn't flip it, actually. I really want this to make six sixes. It's a new card type, so comes into play, does a thing with this much defense. You can attack it like you would a player. When it takes five damage or three damage or however much damage, it goes when it falls to zero defense, it transforms into the backside. And often it's just a creature. Does everyone in the whole set have ridiculous top decks now but me? <laughs> You're picking up Xerix or Gargantuan if I let this through. All right. Because the card on the backside is worth it. So like this, you deal four damage, so you only attack it when your opponent has two or a few cards in hand, because then they will take four damage. All right, I have to draw a land here to have a shot. But then I've got a good shot. Yeah, it's got Death Touch. I can't let any... It's player or battle. You attack your own siege card. You give it to them. You hand it off. Yeah, is this your own graveyard or any graveyard? From your graveyard. So if they shuffle in... Are they going to shuffle everything in? Nope, they kept the creatures, which is a good idea. Land gets there. We're going to have to let them have this battle. But we're climbing back in. Right. You cast it, and it, so I own this battle, but they control it. It's a really interesting card type. It kind of, I think it works. I think it makes a lot of sense in general. They're just milling themselves a little bit. They're going to flip these, attack both of them at the battle. I'm going to play out the rest of my hand so that this doesn't, so that I can block this safely. You always had to think in MTG, Temno. You just chose not to. <laughs> I like them a lot. Um, I think it's a... I think they nailed it. I think they came up with a cool new card type and just nailed it. And I am trading half of my rare for half the other half of their rare. One, two. Be just giving them a streetwise negotiator. You get an effect on cast and an effect on flip. So this effect happens on cast, and then I can flip it into this one. I can flip this now and attack down my own Prickle Fairies. We're going to go for it this way. Dido Boo, hey, uh, thank you so much for the follow. 
Um, we're gonna go for the block on this grandmother, Ravi. Take the five. Eventually, my opponent will stop top decking. Oof. I was wrong. My opponent is gonna top deck forever for the rest of this game. No blocks. It's gonna be a tough game, but we're actually in pretty good shape here. Hmm. Wonderful. Well, I aim to teach, so if you have any questions, let me know. We're going for the kill here, and things look bad, but I don't know that they know what my cards do. So I'm going to bet on that. I'll take the four. <laughs> Alright, end step. I'm going to pay the five, and we're going to flip this. And it's going to turn into a 12-12. Alright, so 12 has to be blocked. Put them to 8. So if I swing with everything, this is a 4-4. Four, four. That's 4, 8, 10, 11, 12. So that is lethal, but they get to block. And I'm assuming that they have a card to play. So... Let's play this first. Ooh, they're taking the 14. Four on their upkeep and the prickle fairies. They've got crack they've got damage on the crackback though. This is a kind of weird deck because I really wanted to play Garuda. Holy crap. Alright. When you cast non creature spell with mana value three or greater, draw a card. Exile, so blink it if you have seven or more cards in hand. And the backside wins the game, but it's really hard to flip. It's basically a five mana five five with ward two. Alright, I think I got it. So if I flip this right away, they block one, two, three, four creatures. This creature gets in for two damage, and then they take two damage. The danger is that I have to give them a card that I can't cast, which means that if I draw Garuda, they'll get to cast a spell before they die. And they're down to two cards in hand, so I need to activate this right now. So we're attacking with everything. One, two, three. Four, but the prickle phase because that has to live until their upkeep but they won't have an opportunity to kill this before oh no convoke i forgot about convoke i don't think there's any three mana there's minus three minus three no way there's no way that my opponent top decked exact like they had no cards in hand if they top decked arch trees into vanquished into collective nightmare they didn't. If they had collected Nightmare, I would have been so upset. Why didn't they die? Did they gain life somewhere? Oh, okay. That's my bad. I didn't know about that effect on that card. <laughs> Fair enough. If they play a card, they die. I think I just need to make it so that they... All right, so if I swing out, they go block, block, take four, and they die. If they have the removal spell, then they won't die because the prickle fairy is dead and they kill me on the crack back. So just to be safe, we're just going to attack for 12. I did not realize that the grandmother Sanger gave life. I have missed this last line of text. <laughs> Ooh, death stocks. Oh, wait, that's a mock. When your opponent chum blocks with Jenga Taxis, you're happy. They could have double bounce spell, but now I'm okay with that now. Bounce, bounce, block, take two, and die. Good game. I almost. 
Now, the kind of mistakes that don't cost you the game are the best kinds of mistakes. Why would you concede? Just take the damage. It's more fun. See, Diadobu, you make as many mistakes as you can that don't cost you the game. That's what we're learning today. All my mistakes earlier were costing me the game. That's not true. I only had one game losing mistake today. I had other mistakes. <laughs> but ask any questions you got. It's, yeah, sometimes you don't counter bombs. Sometimes you just got next level them. Yeah, earlier, uh, Dino Boo, I was playing and I was, there's was an Ampharos and I caught the Ampharos, but when I clicked back, I clicked pass and I did not counter the spell. That's the first time I've ever felt like I lost a game from having only one monitor. That's <laughs> Is that not something people do? I guess I'd watch a few other people who do it. I always thought that that was... I don't understand how you can play Magic without talking about it all the time. I actually got told once that I was being too annoying by an opponent, and they asked the judge if I could be quiet. And the judge... The judge told me as long as they're talking about the game, you can't stop them. Which I was. I was talking about the game. Great hand. Hello. So this is a really late game deck. So this is a format where you are drafting a constructed deck. Which means you need to think about what you're going to draw and how your game will play over time. So uh, being able to curve out with a one drop, two drop, three drop is so good for me because I know my late game is likely to get there. I've got good late game removal. I do. I stream all the time. Um, one trick that I was told violates the spirit of the game. Ooh. Do I pitch the invasion or the adaptation? I'm gonna pitch the adaptation. Oh, almost, I almost clicked the wrong card. Um, I do stream regularly. Great draw. Oh! Did you qualify for that on this season? Is that the current season? I re I'm gonna try and qualify for DreamHack this year, Liz, so I'd love to see you there. This season, I will try to qualify for DreamHack. So, Incubate Tokens are cool because they do not, they don't have haste, but they've been in play for a turn. And if they might, if Batkeeper is good because if they spend a card on the Batkeeper, then I've are, then I still have a body behind. I'm loving this format. Ooh, this card's nuts. Just taps to flip. Are they double blocking anything? No, they're waiting for this 3 3, and I need to make sure I have the adaptation on that turn. So for now, let's just get in. So if I was expecting to play the adaptation this turn, I would play, I would flip this to attack. Ah. I'm fine with this. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with this, because I want to spend a spell to f deal with this. So if I was expecting to play the Adaptation that turn, I would have flipped this. And if I would flipped this, then I would have been locked into playing the Adaptation this turn. But I want to play the Blighted Version because I want this to be a 4-4. Four, four. And I can also flip both to attack with everything. And then they'll block here and they might jump. Or they might jump here, block here, and take 4, go to 6. I want to go to DreamHack. So they probably have Cosmic Hunger, otherwise they wouldn't do this now. Oh, then it was just wrong to do that then. Hello, that's a good card. Land would have been great this turn. So I still crack for two, and I get to deal with that Incubate Token. This is a good move. You're supposed to block the 2-2 because if you're expecting a pump spell, you don't want me to gain the extra life. And you should be expecting a pump spell because I didn't flip this other incubate token. But if your opponent doesn't flip the incubate token, expect a pump spell. Oh, God. This thing again? This is the fourth one I played against today.
I mean, I think it's still correct to attack here, even though they know I'll block. That's so scary. Am I really just gonna have to throw a gore claw at it? What do you pick up? Informant. Yeah, they're just picking up the informant or my vat keeper. It's only their graveyard. I'm trying to decide if I want to let them hit me. I think I do. Let's see what they play. Is this 5-3 attacker? So I... Ooh, okay. That's a problem. I need to draw land badly. Now I don't... I can't let this hit the battle. Because they'll get back there in four minutes and I'll have to pitch my removal spell. Good draw. I think I do attack down the invasion of Lorwyn rather than their face, even though they're only at eight life. That's tough. Ooh. Oh, getting the invasion of Lorwyn is too strong right now. This is not how you want to play this card, but sometimes it's how you gotta. Yeah, this is very much a mirror, but I'm the first person to flip a battle. I don't have lethal because of this thing, but let's see what their last card is. It matters a lot. We dealt with the Archpriest of Shadows. This card is so scary. What a draw. What a draw. Puts him to six though, which means that this is a lethal attacker. And this doesn't have any built-in life gain. They can flip this, so they can double block. They can double block either of these. No, it's only worth attacking with one creature. I have to defend these battles. They can still get back into this game with the battles. Um, but I am okay swapping this for the Gargantuan and their Incubate token. Double Surveil is really useful right now. I'm so sorry, Quebec. This one went a little longer than I thought. You'll, um, I'll reach out to you tomorrow and set everything up, okay, Quebec? I gotta get my list of everyone who requested coaching. Friday is a dedicated coaching day. Dump block. Respectable. We're going to leave that. The trample is really valuable. I'm willing to double block here or single block. Wow. Okay. I went with the 6-6 six, six rather than the 5-5. Five, five. That's interesting. This is worth flipping. They have to block the Thespian with a real creature here. So if I grow the Thespian, attack with both of these, then they'll go block here. They'll double block the Winnowing Forces, and I'll get to take out the Gargantuan. Sweaty neckbeard guy, hey ya! Uh, thank you so much for the follow. All right, so if they block here and here, or here and here, I punch through for five. All right, so how do they block if I swing with everything? They go Gargantuan to Thespian, Dinah to Forces, or Dinah here, Thespian here, and I get to trade a Thespian for a Gargantuan. The thing is, one really good removal spell, like a Cosmic Hunger, they can fire it here at one of these and chain these together. So I am scared. I think they have a removal spell. 
Okay, they don't have the removal spell. But I'm happy with the surveil, because that's a land I'm not drawing. Did they chain these battles? That is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is 22 power. Okay. Nice to meet you, sweaty neck beard. Just let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to share. We've got a gamble going right now. So if I get the, um, she's so cool. All right. So if I lose two in a row, night dark wins. Otherwise, none of you bet on me doing better than four wins. Thank you. Your lack of faith in me is propelling me forward. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab this list of people to whom I owe coaching. All right, one sec. I can't see the chat for just a second. How do I owe you philosophical discussion if you still want to do that? All right, all the lion. I own night dark one still. All the night dark Quebec nostalgia. All right, so we got a good docket of coaching on Friday. Ooh, that's tough. I've been loving white blue because of the options are there. White blue transform was really fun. That's what I played in early access. Oh my god, that LSB game was so much fun. I I saved it. Even though I misplayed at the end, I still saved it. Um, I like this one a lot. Theoretically, Convoke is up there, but I haven't gotten it to work yet. I want, I, I know it will work, so I'm still trying it. Lutri! Lutri is one of the best first picks in the format, because you just always play it. Um, they have the companion. All right, but this is just a great curve. We talked about it last game. Um, two drop, three drop, four drop into my late game plan is just where I want to be. I'd be a little careful about this loot tree. Get my brain revving up. It's nice. Uh, don't need this right now. Like, I want to play this Invasion of Lorwyn eventually, but I'll be pulling lands with this Doomscar Warrior. Pretty good. Um, Rouse Reinforcements is one of the reasons I was wary of the Thespian for a while. I'm gonna make it a 4 2 next. Turn. Otax. Uh, so I like this card a lot. It really just does something. It's like the, the, the preening knight. It's good in every color combination. Every color combination. Red, white wants to go wide. Black, red needs a body to sacrifice. Uh, we're just gonna war. Ooh, do I want to warrior the Vat Keeper for, to make it a better blocker? Yeah. Um, once I flip this, we'll surveil second. Ooh, herbology instructor or chomping kabu. Making the Doom Scar Warrior five four feels great, but I think I want more removal. I don't need this land. I can make this into a four four and just keep tracking. Thrill Seeker card's really good. Is she just gonna use it as a burn spell? Probably a good idea. Alright, great. Four mana deal three is not the worst. That's useful. Next turn. This turn, I just want to crap, flip. So next turn, I will play both of these. This turn, I'm going to make a 4-4. Four -four. Yes. The thing is, like, black-green is kind of low synergy. I want this all to ocean. <laughs> That's really funny. So 
Sorry, sorry. I want to catch this duo ocean. I really like duo ocean. All right, we're just using a great ball. Oh my god, why don't I own any Pokeballs? I think they're going to give this plus one plus zero in first strike, which is not ideal. So let's just kill. I want my winnowing forces. Next turn, I will play this and attack it down and also put down a one power creature, which can take out the invasion of Lorwyn. Just chain things together. <laughs> 